Hey, what's up, guys? Sean here, and today I am bringing you another episode of uh, Creepy Pasta Reviews. Today's will be the story and origins of the rake. Okay, so let's just get this started. Uh, okay, so oh, there's a, my camera. Goes. And there goes my controller. <laughs> okay. And uh, the rake, uh, as we are just waiting, the rake is like either an alien or a person. People do not know. And it's like, it's, it's a hunchback because people think it's been hit by a car or something because it moves like a, uh, like a tiger or a gorilla or something like that or... Something like a dog. People think it is a dog, but it's not really. I think it's an alien myself. Okay, so we've just got to get onto this, this page and... Oh, Jeff the killer at the side. Here is the rake. So you see it's got all of this menacing big claws and stuff. It's probably just having you some meat. There's his eyes and stuff, oh. Hold on, guys. I'm going to need to. I need to take this. Hold on. I'm very, very unprepared for this. Nah. All right. Okay. There we go. Just send them. Yeah message and there we go let's get in it all right and we're going to the one the okay hold on okay right three years ago i just returned from a trip oh. ah! Three years ago, I had just returned from a trip of Nagria Falls with my family for the 4th of July. We were all very exhausted after a long day driving. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Long day of driving, so my husband and I put up the, kid, the kids right up to bed and called it a night. It was about 4am. I woke up thinking my husband had got up to use the restroom. I used the moment to steal back the sheets, only to wake him up in the process. I apologised and told him I thought he'd got out of bed. When he turned to face me, he gasped and pulled his feet up from the end of the bed so quickly his knee almost knocked me out of the bed. Then he grabbed me and said nothing. After adjusting to the dark half of half second, I was able to see what caused the strange reaction. At the, f at the foot of the bed, sitting, facing away from us, there was what to be appeared to be a naked man or a large hairless dog of some sort. His body was in a position disturbing and unnatural, as if it had been hit by a car or something like that. For some reason, I was not instantly frightened by it, but more concerned as its condition. At this point, I was somewhat under the assumption that we were supposed to help him. My husband was peering over his over his arm and knee, tucked into the fetal position, occasionally glancing at me before returning to the creature. In a flurry of motion, the creature scrambled out of the side of the bed, then crawled quickly in a... F in a... F a floating some sort of motion right motion right along the bed until it was less than a foot away from my away from my hub, hub, uh, husband's face. The creature was completely silent for about thirty seconds or probably closer to five. It just seemed like a while. Just looking at my husband. The creature then placed its hand on his knee 
and ran into the hallway, waiting to the kids' rooms. I screamed and ran for the light switch, place, no, I, planning to stop him before he could hurt my children. When I got into the hallway, the light from the bedroom was enough to see it was crouching, hunched over, about 20 feet away. He turned around and looked directly at me, covered in blood. I flipped the switch on the wall and saw my daughter, Clara. This creature ran down the stairs while my husband and I rushed rushed to help our daughter. She was very badly injured and spoke only once in her short life. She said, He is the rake. My husband drove his car that into a lake that night while rushing our, our daughter to the hospital. They did not survive. Hold on, I need, I need to tell my friend because he keeps on messaging me. Can't talk, bro. Can't talk, brother. So, doing the vid. Doing a vid. A vid about the rake. Right, there we go. Should do. They did not survive. Being a small town, news got around pretty quickly. The police were helpful at first, and the local newspaper took a lot of interest as well. However, the story was never published, and the local television news never followed up either. For several months, my son Justin and I stayed in a hotel near my parents' house. After we decided to return home, I began looking for answers myself. I eventually located a man in the next town over who had a similar story. We got in contact and began talk about, talking about our experiences. He knew of two other people in New York who had seen the creature and now referred to it as the rake. It took, it took four of us about two solid years hunting the internet and writing letters to come up with small collections of what we believed to be accounts of the rake. None of them gave any details, history or follow-up. One journal had an entry involving the creature in its first three pages and never mentioned it again. A ship's log explained nothing of the encounter, saying only that they were told to be to look told to leave by the rake. It was the last entry of the rake. Oh! I'm crying out loud! Ah, oh, this is doing my bloody head in. Right, that's it. I'm very unprepared for this video. I'm really sorry for this. I hope you're not. You're just probably disliking this episode. Right. I set up a, dig a digital recorder near my bed and left it running all night, every night for two weeks. I would tendlessly scan for the sounds of me rolling around in my bed each day I woke up. By the end of the second week, I was quite used to the occasional sound of sleeping while blurring for the recording at eight times the normal speed. This is, this still took almost a, an hour every day. On the first day of the week, I thought I heard something different. What I heard was a shrill voice. It was the rake. I can't listen to it long enough to be even to transcribe it. I haven't let anyone listen to it yet. All I know is I've heard it before and now I believe that it spoke when it was sitting in front of my husband. I don't remember it hearing and I don't remember hearing anything the first time, but for some reason the voice on the recorder immediately brings me back to that moment. The thoughts that the thoughts the thoughts that must have gone through my daughter's head made me very upset. I've not seen the rake since he ruined my life. But I know that he had been in my room while I slept. I know and fear that one night I'll wake up him staring at me. Alright, that's that was the story um, of the rake. And luckily, 
we have some videos. We've got one for uh, one minute, two minutes, and we have one for 37 minutes and 58 seconds. But I'm not going to play the second one, just the first one. It's just an old woman, she's encountered it. So here we go. Here it was. Because it knew if we saw its face. You could tell it wasn't a man. He could talk, but it wasn't right. It was like the way a dog makes a noise. It was high-pitched, squeaky, like when a scared dog barks. I can't remember it now. It was a long time. He knew the names of my mother and my father. He said that he knew what they dreamed and that they knew he was called the Rake. The Rake told me that I would miss him. And I asked him why. It said that I would find out in a long, long time. I don't remember how the Rake left. I think about it now, but it's more like a dream. But I know it was real. I know that he was real. And I know that I will see him again. Okay, so we've obviously seen that that woman has, ob ugh, has obviously had an encounter with the rake. And here are some pictures of the rake. Here we go. So you can obviously tell that he's got a hunchback. He's a hunchback. Okay, so he's obviously a a night hunter because, well, that woman obviously seen him uh, when he killed uh, her husband and her daughter. Okay, thank you all for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed, but you might not because I was very unprepared for this video, and I hope you hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> uh very tired right now. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and peace out.